What's up everybody, it's Monkey Farm, and I'm back in my first map, and the, the old Minecraft music is very reminiscent of my times here in this first map. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of destruction. This map is not supposed to look like this. And uh, what happened is, you know, when they added new biomes to the, uh, to the game, and uh, whenever you update to a new jar file and then you go back to an old one, uh, your map will kind of convert over to what the new biomes should be. So what happened is later on, and if I had loaded this map again, this would be a desert and this would be a snow biome, which is why my ocean is freezing over as well. And it used to not be frozen. <laughs> That's why all this snow is around here too. Um, so what happened is uh, I did that. I converted and you know changed back and forth the jar files. And uh, so what we're gonna do, there is actually hope. We're gonna fix this today. And we are going to use a couple of Seth Bling's filters that he's created for MC Edit. And we're also going to do um, another thing. We're going to move another object over to my new jungle map, which is uh, where I've been moving all of these buildings to an updated uh, to an updated map. But I really want to get this map fixed because this was my first world. I really liked it. I still like it. I happened to watch one of my very first videos, like my uh, one of my world tours, which you know, was about a year ago, and man, I really miss this world, but I want to get it back to where it should be. This should look like grass, not like sand, and then, I didn't even notice there's a snow biome behind there as well. Man, I just, it, this whole place is destroyed, but we're going to fix it. Um, so I will put some links to... Uh, an updated version of MC Edit and to Seth Bling's filters. So in case you have this problem as well, you can uh, you can kind of fix your maps, and I'm going to kind of walk you through what I'm doing. Uh, and you can link over and 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 download the filters from Seth Bling's channel. Uh, so first of all, thanks Seth. Uh, hopefully everything works out. Hopefully I use the filters right and I get my old map back. That would be awesome. So I'm going to cut over to MC Edit, and we are going to try to fix this place. Okay, I've opened the map here in MC Edit, and first of all, if any of you are going to try this, make sure that you back up the map, the save file, back that up before uh, you get into MC Edit because uh, some bad things can happen, and if you do care about your world, um, you're going to want things to work out correctly. And I've already kind of gone and uh, I've previously deleted the outside chunks of this map. I haven't been out there to reload them. Um, I was trying to... I was thinking about copying this whole thing over to a new map and uh, didn't quite work. My, uh, my MC Ed couldn't handle it. It was too large of a selection. But anyway, we're going to... Oh, there's the Creeper Temple. <laughs> underground. Um, so Fraps is slowing this down a little bit. But uh, so the Seth Bling filter that I'm going to use is called, uh, I think it's called Set Biome or something like that. So once I get the selection here, I'm actually going to cut back. I think Fraps is kind of slowing down everything here. Okay, so <laughs> as you can see, this is all grass. Um, this is how it's supposed to look in Minecraft, except it looks all uh, messed up. Now I could probably go in and change the um, the grass image file and just take out all the desert and everything, but uh, you know that wouldn't help me in other places. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to I have everything selected. I'm going to do set biome and everything uh, I'm not really sure what I should set this at uh, desert hills forest hills I'm thinking plains is like a good green grass color I don't know I really just don't know if that's right but we're gonna try it um, I don't know if it's gonna work or not but we will see this is, I do have this world backed up, so if something is totally ruined, wow, what is going on? It all turned red. Uh, 
so this looks like the nether now but let's deselect uh, maybe I have to save this this is kinda scary but luckily I have a backup so we should be all good um, yep it looks like it's saving okay so everything in red was just uh, you know something that needed to be saved I guess so hopefully everything will work out now I already deselected I'm going to undo my deselection because what I also want to do is I want to fill and replace uh, snow cover or snow layer and just replace that with air because none of this sh uh, snow layer should be anywhere um, I'm not sure I'll leave the ice for now I'll, I'll worry about that later so let's uh, let's go back into Minecraft and see how this looks hopefully hopefully things will improve and we will see nice green grass just like this I've got some of my little contraptions down here oh man I really hope this works because this um, I really do like this world this is my first world spent a lot of time here <laughs> most of this was legit until I got over to the creeper temple and uh, then of course you know it all went downhill from there MC edit and all that stuff but anyway alright we are going to see you over back in Minecraft okay we're loading the world and oh my gosh I see green grass again oh I love it wow oh this is how it's supposed to look oh my gosh everything is better everything is better now oh look at this oh my gosh I love it I am really excited <laughs> well thank you very much Seth Bling uh, this is amazing doesn't it look so much better wow so that's awesome my world is back I'm so excited all right, so we are going to use another one of Seth, uh, Seth Bling's filters. And what we're going to do is move this giant mushroom, which used to have a mushroom farm in it. We're going to move that over to the new map, the one in the jungle biome. And uh, we're going to use the enlarge filter. I think I may have to switch this map back into creative mode, or creative mode, survival mode again. Um, because man uh, this map oh so many memories here oh. okay we're back except we're in the new map so I've got the the giant mushroom over here and I just wanted to get it all kind of spaced out to see and I'm gonna open MC edit and we are going to figure out a place to put a jumbo size mushroom I think there's a flat spot over here that looks kind of weird and it will be a lot better to put a giant mushroom there I think <laughs> so I'll see you back in MC edit okay I've got the selection of the giant mushroom here and I'm just going to scoot it over a little bit and that should be a good place for it okay so I'm going to import that now what I need to do is, well, I'm going to get rid of these torches because when I, when I multiply, when I enlarge this thing, it'll have torches floating in the air if I don't. So I'm going to take torches, replace them with air. Okay, so we're good. Now what I need to do is go into the filter again, go to enlarge. Uh, let's make this twice as big as it was, and we want to put bottom center. That way the bottom will stay centered on the ground rather than uh, the middle center that would actually put half the mushroom underground and center it here so we don't want to do that. So bottom center we're going to multiply it by two and we will see how this thing turns out. Hopefully MC edit and my computer can handle it. And there we go. Check it out. Wow, that thing's pretty big. So that looks like, where did it go? There it is. So I need to save this first, otherwise we won't be able to see it.
There we go. That is even bigger than my double mob spawner building, so that's pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to have to fix some of this because basically it's duplicated everything. There used to be one glowstone here, now there's four because it doubled it this way and doubled it this way and up and down too. So it doubled all the axes or axes or whatever. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do this again. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Oh my god. Wow, and we can see it from pretty far away too. I wonder if when I'm in this building if I'll be able to see it. Well, we'll have to load it in Minecraft to see. But yep, it looks like we might be able to see it. Um, I want to make an even bigger one over here. And I hope the new sky cap can handle it. Wow. Uh, we've got a nice flat area. I'm going to throw down another copy of the mushroom. And I have to make sure I scoot it far enough back so that it doesn't totally destroy my all my other buildings and everything but let's see here scoot it back here and that should be good right about there and we may have to fix some of the trees and everything later we'll come back and plant some trees and, and all of that but uh, yeah I guess we're good there so now I'm gonna do the filter again, enlarge. This time, let's go crazy and do four. Let's see if this can even handle it. Oh, oh, it worked. Wow, oh my God. Oh my God, that is huge. Did it all fit? Oh wow, look how close we were to the sky cap. Oh, just just a few blocks away actually oh my gosh oh I forgot to get rid of the torches so that's what happens see the torches but wow look at that um, okay we're back and I think I may have overdone it <laughs> with that giant mushroom over there um, it's it's so huge you can't really even see it uh, or it's not loading or something I've got some major work to do to clean this up. I may end up deleting this one. I think it's just too big. I, I just wanted to see how it how it went. <laughs> but yeah, it's completely pointless to have that so big you can't even see it. Um, but wow, I remember when I built this one, uh, and I'll put a link up on the screen to that too, <laughs> in case you haven't seen that, um, and the mushroom farm that I built inside. Um, I was originally going to build a new mushroom farm inside of this because um, this used to be a really cool mushroom farm. You'd come and flip the switch and the mushroom farm up there would wash. Oh, yeah, I took all the torches out, I think. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of the mobs. <laughs> uh, but now, since they changed mushroom spawning, uh, it grows really slowly, and uh, or they spread really slowly. So there's not a whole lot of point to doing that. But let's take a look over at the not so huge, huge mushroom. Oh my god, that thing. That's ridiculous. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to get rid of that. But this one, this one I think we might be able to work with. Um, we'll just have to do some, uh, some terraforming around this thing to make it look better. That is just silly. All right, so good. We can still see that mushroom. I think that'll be that'll be more than enough. This one we can't see, so there's no point in having that one. But that one looks great in the horizon. It's kind of hazy because it's so far in the distance. I kind of like it. I think uh, I think since this is a uh, a creative mode MC Edit-ish type of map anyway, um, I, I kind of like it. Oh, the sun's going down. Very nice. All right, we're back in the first world here, and man, I am just so happy to have things back to normal. Wow, with this grass and everything, it's actually green again. It's awesome. Oh, this is great. So anyway, once again, big, uh, big thank you to Seth Bling for putting those filters out for everybody. And so that's it for now. Uh, once again, I will put links in the description to all the Seth Bling filters in case you need to do this to one of your maps. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, if you need to 
see anything else if you want to see the world tours um, you can see the uh, of this world uh, you can go to my first world playlist and, or old world playlist I don't know what it's called it's one of those anyway I have a playlist with the world tours uh, if you want to see the episodes where I've been moving this to that old the, the new jungle map uh, that one's called the MC edit something or another first world old map or old world new app playlist I don't know now I'm babbling, so uh, time to cut the video. We'll see you guys later.